Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to look at Sourcefire Policy Management. This is part two, as we did a basic video on this, or a part one to this, I guess, video segment um, a couple months back. So we actually just want to, you know, get in here and take a closer look at what we could do with policies uh, in, uh, with regard to Sourcefire's Defense Center. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into Policy and Response, Compliance, and Policy Management, which will bring us to the dashboard or specific part of the GUI where we create policies. So you'll see we've got a couple in there already. We're going to go ahead and click on Create Policy, and that will get us into the section of the GUI where we can actually give it a name and a description and so on. So our name, we're going to call this something specific to you know a lot of people's environment. We're going to call it IRC Detection, and we're going to go ahead and add in a policy description. So in this case, you know we can type something like uh, something. I guess really descriptive so you know why you're creating this in the first place. So we'll type in IRC traffic is not allowed on the corporate network and all IRC traffic seen should be classified okay, as malicious. So basically what we're trying to say is IRC type traffic is not allowed on the network and if we see it it's definitely malicious because it's not allowed to be there in the first place. So we're going to go ahead We'll leave the default priority and we're going to put it to one so it's on top of our priority list here of active policy rules. So we'll go ahead and click on save. There's our new IRC detection policy. As you can see, we've saved it successfully. And we're going to go back into rules now and create specific rules that apply to this policy. So when you actually create the policy like we just did, all we're doing is giving it a name and a description and putting it in a specific order. Um, in our in our policy in our policy rules. So now let's go in and create a specific group that we can apply RC detection rules within. So in our group name we'll type in IRC detection or detections. Oh sorry guys fat finger there. We'll call it IRC detection rules and we'll go ahead click on save. All right, and as that saves, you'll see we'll have a group created. And again, now we got to get a little more detailed and start creating rules to place within that group. So let's go ahead. We'll click on Create Rule. <clears throat> and within there, we can actually give the rule a name. Um, you know, and obviously be descriptive so you know why you're creating the rules. But So now, before we actually get into the rule information, let's get into select the type of event we want for this rule. So in this case, we're going to say an intrusion event occurs. We're going to add a condition. So we're going to say, you know, something like rule message. We'll wait till that saves and you'll see we'll have a specific uh, sub option I guess that we can use to get a little more descriptive. So in here we can say contains the string. So if the rule message contains the string um, IRC for example, you can see here we've filled in our rule information as well. So our rule name is IRC traffic bracket intrusion. Our description is detects an intru if an intrusion event is using IRC for traffic protocol and our rule group is going to be our IRC detection rules which is the group we created in the previous step. In the select the type of event for this rule, like I said, we've already gone through this, but we've basically said if an intrusion event occurs and meets the following conditions, rule message contains the string IRC, and we're going to go ahead <coughs> and just change our description around for a second. All right, so basically what we're looking at here is if we detect an intrusion event containing the string IRC, we're going to basically fire off a warning. All right, so now we're done all of this. We can go ahead and save this rule. And as it saves, <clears throat> it will be saving into the rule group IRC detection rules. Okay, so now we can actually go back and apply these specific rules or the whole group of rules into the policy that we created. So if we go in and edit IRC detection, you'll see that you have the option here to add rules. So if we click on add rules, all right, we can we'll see the actual IRC detection group we created and the number of rules that's within that group. So if you had, for example, 40 different rules for IRC detection, depending on you know different parameters you put in a rule, you can actually enable specific ones for this specific policy. So in this case, we only have one rule. So we're going to click on IRC traffic intrusion. We're going to go ahead and click on add. And after we do that, this actual policy has a rule and a group of rules defined to it. And again, we can actually go in here now and create responses to these rules. We're not going to do that in this video, but we'll go ahead and click on save so that we save the specific rule. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you actually create a uh, uh, policy management, I guess, within uh, Source Fires Defense Center. You basically create a, an actual group, 
add rules to the group, and then add a policy called whatever you like, in this case IRC detection, and apply those groups of rules or rule to that policy. Okay, And in here, obviously, you'll see the last step is to actually activate these uh, group of rules or policy management. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks very much for coming out. We will definitely see you on the next one.